lap. Man, what a lap by that guy right there. Chase Elliott at a 69, 1969, baby. Awesome lap. It's his 10th career pole, Jamie. And the crowd went nuts when he crossed the finish line there. And I heard your spotter say, if they can beat that lap, they can take it, and they couldn't. Was it as good? Did it feel as good as it looked? Uh, to be honest with you, no. Um, when he said that, I was like, man, I, I felt like somebody could could get there to it. Um, it honestly surprised me uh, that, that it was, you know, that fast. I didn't really expect to be in the 60s. I felt like I had a had a good lap, but not a not a great lap. But just appreciate everybody uh, on our Lumar Chevy this week. Um, got to visit uh, one of their plants today. They are based here in Martinsville, so uh, kind of cool to be a, a bit of a hometown race for them and uh, nice to grab a pole it's been a while so super proud of alan and uh, our our entire team for for continuing to push and and uh, you know come back this weekend strong and hopefully we can get it right for tomorrow night yeah certainly no give up in you guys and you mentioned a first pole this year first pole at martinsville we know how important track position is here what does this mean to this team uh, it's always good to have a good starting spot. Obviously, you know, lap 400 tomorrow is what pays. So, um, you know, the bigger thing, I think, than the, the starting spot itself is, is always the, the pit selection. Having that first pit stall, I think, is a really big deal and, and can lend you a lot of opportunity to gain spots on pit road. So hopefully we can, uh, you know, get this thing dialed in to be driving like we want, you know, second half of the race and, and be around to have a shot at it. All right, Chase Elliott, your pole sitter at Martinsville. Amen.